Hello everyone and welcome to my kingdom. I've been getting a lot of questions about the bowls so in today's video I'm going to go over all the details about them. So first I'm just going to answer a few questions here and then I will bring you guys over to the fish room to show you the bowls. So the main question that I have been getting is where can you buy the bowls? Unfortunately, they're not available anywhere. I bought them over at Home Goods probably in 2016 and they don't carry the same stock nor can you buy it online or in stores. However, if you go over to Home Goods or Ross, though there are a few home stores that I like to check, they do have good quality bowls at a good size for a good price. So the ones that I'm using right now are three gallons and I believe they were $25 each. One thing that I do recommend looking for, which I'll insert a picture right here, is looking for the flat top glass. In my experience, um, with the flat top that is the strong glass bowls, I've been able to like have rocks fall inside the bowls and knock them on a few things without anything happening to the tank. I would not suggest the ones that you can get at Hobby Lobby and Michaels. It's pretty fragile glass. I know some people have been saying they've been using them for years with no issue, but it really just takes one knock to go wrong and I do not want that to happen to you guys, especially if your tanks are inspired by me. I've seen a few posts in some groups about the tanks just exploding, cracking, and that's with livestock and everything and then everything spills out, you break your tank, you lose your fish, and you have water everywhere. So that is something I do not suggest. I've had some luck at Goodwills too, so I would suggest checking all the home stores, getting the thick glass bowls so they have a very strong chance of standing up against anything falling on them or like rocks tumbling inside the bowl. So pretty much the flat top is what I say indicates glass. It might be on something, but if you can't knock on it like you would knock on a door, I would not put water in there. I would say that's the number one question that I've been getting and it's a lot easier for me to cover all the content in this video than answer comments one by one because I also do not see them all on my Instagram. So now we're going to go over to the fish room and then I will go over the equipment I use in the bowls and I will go over the details of them one at a time, which there are two so it's not going to be too long. This is the first bowl I'm going to be going over. The second most common question that people have are what are the lights that I'm running on them? And these are the bamboo LED lights from Hero Aquatics. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description for you guys. They have a few kinds so you guys can check them all out and decide if any of them are right for you. And both of the tanks are filtered by sponge filters. I don't have the link to exact one but I can link one that is very similar. Um, most likely it'll be from Amazon. So if you don't know how sponge filters work, they're basically the sponge and then it's connected to airline and that airline is connected to an air pump. Basically the air pump sends bubbles through the tube in the filter and it'll create a suction which brings the water through the sponge and out through the tube on top. So with my bowls, I have them filtered from the same air pump. It is under the cabinet. It's a dual pump but I'm only using one side so I have a check valve connected to a gang valve which goes left and right for both of the tanks. You can also get these glass U-tubes on Amazon. I'll link something similar as well. Again, um, when I bought these things, they didn't have brands so I can't link you exactly to what I got because I no longer have the links for them. So again, just to um, cap it up, the lighting and filters are the same on both tanks. So in this tank here, I'm going to start going over the decorations and everything inside of it. This is the substrate I use. It's the Shrimp Sand by Up Aqua. Um, the other one is the Aqua Forest Natural Substrate, but you have to cap that one. And with this one, I wanted the Aqua Soil look. So the Driftwood Cave is about three separate pieces of Driftwood. I believe they're the UNS brand. I'll try to link that as well. And for the plants, I got them all over at Boost Plant. And in this tank specifically, I have Hydrocoto tripartita, Anubias, Nana Bonsai, and Crypt Parva. I do have a few pieces of black lava rock in there. Initially, I used it to weigh down the rocks, but they kind of just went with escape, so I left them in there. And I believe that covers everything on this bowl, so we will move over to the other bowl. Okay, so now onto this bowl. It is my red cherry shrimp tank, or um, the fire red shrimp. It is my Neo Caradino bowl. Again, lighting and filtration is the same as the first one. Hero Aquatics and a sponge filter. 
as for the substrate in this one, I use the Aquaforce Natural Substrate and this one does float so I did have to cap it with sand, hence why this bowl is the sand. I did have a question of where did I get the sand from and it's just the sand I got from my local fish store. Not a specific sand but if you're looking for the look, um, I think it's similar to play sand that you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's. It's not any special ADA sand or anything. So I do have some plants in here but this scape was meant to be hardscape heavy. So if you're new to aquascaping, hardscape just means any of the rock or driftwood you have that's going in your scape. So the hardscape I used in this bowl is called Blue Petrified Wood. I've also seen it called Glitter Rock, but mainly it's known as Blue Petrified Wood. So if you're gonna look for it, that's the name you're gonna wanna search up. I do have some plants in here. Um, mainly it's Christmas moss and some boost. I don't remember exactly which boost I have, but the main question isn't about what plants I have in there anyways. I do have some styrogen weapons in the back, but they're not doing so hot. So I believe that covers all the main details and the questions that you guys have had. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments in this video. I get better notifications with YouTube just because I don't have as big of a following and it does pop up on my phone. So I'll be able to get back to you guys way better on this video than I do in the Instagram comments. So if you guys want to see the setup on either of the bowls, I do have videos of the entire process on each one individually. Um, I think I can put them in here. If not, um, I think one is labeled as like Shrimpy Paradise and the other one is like Driftwood Cave in the thumbnails at least. I'm not sure exactly which one. If you enjoyed this video or if you learned something new, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But regardless, I think that wraps up everything between these two bowls. Bye everyone.